and welcome back to the channel. On this video, I want to talk about the Super 73R Blackout SE. Now these are kind of like upgraded versions of the Super 73. This particular model is the R series. I think they've done this with all of their bikes, all of their models. But anyway, this is the one I wanted to talk about, the R Blackout SE. And so let me, first of all, run over some of the specs on this bike. So this bike is a 48 volt, 750 watt nominal, 1200 watt peak, although if you ride it in off-road mode, so there's three classes, there's class one, class two, and class three, and then there is the off-road and the off-road will be 1200 watts nominal i don't know what the peak of the off-road mode is but that's the nominal so it's 48 volts the battery is a 20 amp hour and 48 volts of course and So, looking at the battery uh, distance, uh, how much range you're going to get out of it, they list, if you're in class 1 mode, up to 75 miles, or maybe it's 75 plus, and then 40 miles in class 2, and I don't know what class 3 or off-road will get you, but probably not a whole lot. And I would even question those numbers. I really doubt you're going to get 20 out of a 20 amp hour battery in, in class two. I, I really doubt you're going to get 40 or 40 plus miles. Uh, but that's what they list. So we'll go with that. So the bike does have Magura um, brakes for piston, which is good. Uh, top speed, they list at 28 plus miles per hour, and that would be off-road. 28 is going to be class 3, 20 class 2, I don't know what uh, class 1 top speed is, but maybe 15. It does have a full suspension, and Super 73 are known for having very good suspensions on their bike. And this has a full suspension, including the Fox float rear shock. The bike weighs 90 pounds and has a capacity weight of 325. The seat is 32 inches in height, so not terrible. That's a uh, pretty good for a person that's my height or, or taller but for the shorter rider that could be an issue uh, I'm five foot nine so anybody that's probably five seven or under might have a little more problem with that I don't know uh, I'd probably prefer for the shorter rider maybe 30 inches would be good but we know how uh, e-bikes go they tend to go for the taller rider um, as opposed to the shorter rider, rider and that's unfortunate. Uh, let's see, what else can I tell you? It has Blaine handlebars. Um, and it does have a headlight, taillight, and a horn. Let me just get past the stop sign here. Got to dodge all the uh, 
debris in this bike lane here. I don't want to get a flat tire if I can help it. As we know, it's flat tire season right now. I call it flat tire season this time of year. Uh, let's talk about the tires. So the bike has Grizzly tires. Which, if you're familiar with the uh, Super 73s, they have the four and a half inch uh, wide front tire by 20, and then the rear tire is 20 by 5. That's pretty standard on their bikes. I like the uh, size of the tires, those are a good size. And of course, the bike is black really a sharp looking bike I gotta say but uh, so that's some of the specs on the bike and now for the bad news the price So the bike is going for $42.95, $4,295, and depending on, I don't know, depending on where you are, but where I am at, I put in to see how much the shipping would be. I'm in Oregon, of course, and the shipping, it says flat rate of $150. Now, I don't know if that means flat rate for anybody in the US or just for Oregon or what. So, but anyway, when I put it in, it was $150. So the total of the bike, it would be $4,445. That was my uh, total. So, not really a cheap bike at all, and so um, there you go, that's the, uh, some of the specs on the bike. I will leave a link in the description if you want to go and check out the bike's full specs and all that. That is the Super 73R. Blackout SE. $42.95 plus $150 shipping, at least to the state of Oregon. So um, go ahead and leave a comment in the comments below and let me know what you think of that bike. Is it a good deal? Is it a bad deal? I mean, I think it's overpriced, but that's just me. And that's going to do it for another video here on the channel. If you like this video, hit that like button. If you'd like to subscribe to the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And thank you very much for doing that. And if you want to be notified as to when the next video comes up on the channel, just hit that notification bell and you'll be notified. And if you want to leave a comment on this or any other video, go ahead and leave that in the comments below. Once again, thank you for joining me for this video. And until next time.